everybody. I uh, told you I'd mention, uh, well, I had mentioned in the uh, original The Axe is Back project video, I had a custom axe coming in. And I've had it, uh, <clears throat> let's see what today is. Uh, I've had it uh, about a week. No, I have had it a week, excuse me. I've only got out to uh, swing it a little bit at uh, my friend Cody's house just to, to get a feel for it. Uh, I had some initial impressions and I wanted to do an unboxing video. But I wasn't sure how I felt about it when I first got it. And, uh, you know, I'll go over that right now. It, it is a large axe. And I, I wanted a 31-inch handle. Uh, you know, obviously you're not going to be able to, to get the scale of that right now. But what I can do for you is, is this is my SFA. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's quite a bit smaller. So if I show you the bits, you'll have some idea of the size difference. Now, obviously it's, it's a much, much bigger. Uh, and I was looking for a bigger head. Uh, and perhaps, hopefully, the camera will pick. I'll show you. You can get a grasp of uh, the weight difference of these two. Uh, this is about a two pound. This is uh, about a four, maybe more. Um, when I when I put in the order initially, I was asking for more of a, a 3.5 head, uh, maybe even a little less, maybe through translation or maybe it just didn't work out that way of how big it actually came out. So it is a it is a bit larger than I was looking for. Now, of course, this isn't a review because I've only had it a week, so I don't want to look at it that way. These obviously just an initial impression, more or less. Um, the fit and finish, as you can tell, are just beautiful on this. And so you know, in case you didn't figure it out already, this is a custom axe by Siga from Sweden. Uh, he makes custom axes. He's uh, his prices are great. His obviously his workmanship is beautiful. Uh, the grain on this, um, hopefully we'll get it in the camera for you, is what I call perfect. And I'll, that's my rating system: good, fair, perfect. You know, in those ranges. Um, this is what you call perfect grain. Now, as far as handle shape, I'll go with fair because it is a little thick. Uh, like I had mentioned in an, another video handles are just thick now and I guess if you want a, a nicer shape you kind of got to do it yourself I would definitely take quite a bit off of this and may in the future depending what I plan to do with this axe I would say the alignment which I probably won't be able to translate on camera is I would say mm, poor to fair uh, it's not perfect um, it's not close to perfect. It's actually a little bit off. Is it enough for me to uh, send it back? No. Now, in his defense, Sega did offer for me to send it back and him to rehaft it. But given the, the, the cost of shipping back and forth, the time involved, it's really not worth it. If it ends up bothering me down the road, I will just rehaft it myself. Now, you know, when I first thought it, you know, he knows I wanted a felling axe. The bit is a bit thick. Um, probably too thick. Uh, this is a little more reminiscent towards the side of a, mm, uh, a splitting axe. Uh, you can do a little bit of chopping, but majority you can you do splitting with it. Um, can I change that? Absolutely. I can fix that with a with a 12 inch disc grinder. I can uh, definitely take some weight off of this. Whether I'll do that or not, I don't know. This is a, it's a very nice axe. I think as a splitting and a, a little bit of a chopping axe, I think it'll work great. It's a little heavier than what I was looking for. I'm not gonna complain though. Like I said, it's, it's a beautiful piece of craftsmanship. Um, but you're probably not gonna see me packing this out into the bush. Uh, it's just too heavy. I think, I think ultimately what I'd like to see is, a, uh, is get myself an American Felling Axe by Grain First Brooks. And I think, uh, it's a three pound head, which is only one pound heavier than this, and a 31 inch handle, which I really enjoy. I enjoy this stretch because it's, it's less of a bend down, it's safer racks, uh, it's a little more versatile, and I think that for day hikes or short walks and stuff like that, it's not gonna be a big problem to pack in. But like I said, there is quite a bit of difference. Um, still a great ax, don't get me wrong, uh, a purchase well spent. Now you can see here, I got some, some extras here. 
I've been uh, doing some bidding on eBay to get my hands on a few. And this is a cruiser. This is made by uh, True Temper. It's called the Flint Edge. Um, it's a beautiful head, very even forging, very nice. Uh, I believe it's still got its factory edge on it. So uh, this is actually not really seen any, uh, any action. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with a 20 some odd inch cruiser handle for this. I'd like to go up in the upper 20s and make more of a more of a versatile double bit axe. Uh, we'll see what that project comes out in the future. Uh, I'll definitely do a video on it. Another one I just won is uh, I actually looked this up before I bought it. Lewiston, Pennsylvania by uh, Amon is the short M-A-N-N -N, which later became uh, in, let's say uh, absorbed by Collins axes so uh, it's a pretty good head the forging ain't perfect see a little thin on this wall than this uh, probably can can even that out with a grinder this is about a four pound head still uh, it, it's a little bit lighter than this one as you can see the difference in the bits and everything the pole is bigger on this one but the bit is significantly thinner on this than this obviously hopefully I'll translate that the camera well Otherwise, it looks pretty nice, and uh, in the future, uh, I'll get a chance to uh, half this one as well. I also have another one coming, uh, another Kelly Perfect. Uh, it's a 3.5 pound felling axe head. It's uh, similar in shape like this, the jersey pattern. Uh, it's a little bit nicer than this one, obviously, and that will be coming in as well. So, uh, you know, just keeping you updated, getting some new videos on the Axe's Back project. Thanks everybody who is uh, making videos for this. That's awesome. Some of them are outstanding. Uh, don't stop. There's no time limit. Or let's say I should say there's no dead date for it. Uh, keep making them. It's awesome. And hopefully I'll get out here in the next two weeks again, get another video out. And uh, um, I won't be packing this one out, but I may have the uh, American Felling Axe by then. So that should be a real fun video. So uh, once again, also, uh, as you make videos for the project, Make sure they're a video response to the original one so they're all in one place. And uh, if you title it correctly, uh, the Axe is Back Project, if you're watching one video or somebody else's, all the related ones, like one you make or somebody else makes, you're going to show up in the recommended over to the right when you're viewing, which I think is an easy way to source them all. So, uh, you know, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the little video of some, uh, you know, Axe porn here. And uh, we'll see you in the woods.